okay third problem so these two problems are first one is rank and cycle second one is blade and cycle these two are power producing cycles where a heat input is given a heat rejection happens but the net heat given to the cycle is positive similarly the net work done by the cycle is also positive but this third cycle is vapor compression refrigeration cycle here the main objective is to transfer heat from low temperature regime to the high temperature regime so that is the thing here so here you can see that r134a is the working fluid and uh, the problem is in a vapor compression refrigeration cycle operating at steady state with r134a saturated vapor enters the compressor at 1.6 bar and uh, saturated liquid leaves the condenser at 9 bar okay mass flow rate of the refrigerant is 5 kg per minute so this is the given information determine the compressor power in kilowatts if the isentropic efficiency is 67% then second coefficient of performance cop third is the refrigeration capacity we can say tons of refrigeration refrigeration capacity in tons of refrigeration so here first we have to understand the basic control volumes basic control volumes in the vapor compression refrigeration so basically this is space to be cooled so let us say there is space to be cooled so in order to keep this space at a given temperature tc i have to neglect or reject heat say q dot c to the yeah, device in the system which is the which we call evaporator okay now then this evaporator the refrigerant one r134 eight comes in some state but exits as at least a saturated vapor okay so here the condition is at least a saturated vapor then this vapor is compressed so that means i need to supply some compressor work here this is vapor compressor so that is what the name is vapor compression refrigeration cycle so i have to compress this vapor from this operates at a say a pressure so this is state 1 let us say so this operates at a pressure of p1 so evaporator is a constant pressure operation it makes where the pressure is p1 and uh, the vapor compressor will compress the vapor which is a saturated vapor at least i told no so that to state to high pressure and now this so it is given clearly saturated vapor enters saturated vapor enters the compressor so here i can say x1 equal to 1 it can be superheated also okay but please understand this name vapor compressor i cannot have a saturated mixture entering here that will not work properly so at least a saturated vapor or a superheated vapor should go into it the problem clearly it is given that saturated vapor enters so now it goes to higher pressure so p2 p2 is the higher pressure so again the pressure ratio of this system is p2 by p1 now pressure is also given p1 is given as 1.6 bar and p2 is given as 9 bar so this is the pressure ratio p2 is given as 9 bar okay 9 bar now a device called condenser condenser removes see for example here the pressure is 9 bar it's a higher saturation uh, temperature now this can reject the heat at the rate of q dot h to an ambient which is at th okay because at p2 the saturation temperature is higher so it can reject it to higher temperature so why you choose the lower lower pressure here because tc is low it has to take heat from a lower temperature regime so the saturation temperature 
of the working substance in the evaporator should be lower than this. So low pressure, lower saturation temperature. Higher pressure, higher saturation temperature. So that is the that is why the uh, P2 and P1 ratio will be fixed uh, appropriately. Now exiting this basically, so this is two and this is three. Exit of this is it's given as saturated liquid. So here x3 equal to 0 it's given in the problem now i have a high pressure 9 bar saturated liquid but evaporator will operate at 1.6 bar constant pressure this is also constant pressure device constant pressure operation like evaporator okay now i have to reduce the pressure of saturated liquid at 9 bar to 1.6 bar. So, what I do is I just put a adiabatic throttle valve. I just put that device, which will it's actually irreversible, irreversible operation. Okay. Irreversibly, it will reduce the pressure of the saturated liquid at 9 bar to 1.6 bar. In that way, you will get a saturated mixture. So, this state this is state 4. State 4 will be saturated mixture at 1.6 bar. That's all. So, from the saturated liquid at 9 bar, I get a saturated mixture of liquid and vapor at 1.6 bar and uh, now this liquid will evaporate and get a saturated vapor at the end of the evaporator and this saturated vapor goes and the cycle continues. This is the schematic of the vapor compression refrigeration technique. you know this correct. So now the properties are also are given ok. For example, saturated R134A, the pressure 1.6 and 9 bar, the quantities like HF, HG, SF, HG are given. Similarly, at 9 bar superheated, the for different temperatures H and S values are given. Now I draw the TS diagram for this. So now let us draw. This is 1.6 bar. This is 9 bar. Okay, now state 1 is the this is saturated vapor at 1.6 bar that enters the compressor. So now Compressor can operate in an in an isentropic manner, correct? Straight S1 equal to S2, yes. Or obviously in the problem, the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is given. So it is a maybe the actual state 2 will be here, and this is this process is not known to me. So I can draw this. Now at 9 bar. We get a superheated vapor at the end of the compressor. Then the condenser. This is the uh, condenser where heat is lost. Q dot H so to a temperature of Th. So now the condensation occurs. It becomes saturated vapor. Then the latent heat is removed. So finally, I get a state three, which is saturated liquid at nine bar. So this is the process and this is compression process isentropic and this ok. Now this state is fixed, this state is fixed straight away. To fix this state 2, I will first assume a isentropic compression process and get the state 2 s, yes. apply the isentropic efficiency to get the state 2. So these states are fixed ok. What about final state? Final state 4, I told it is a saturated mixture, so it should come somewhere in this pressure has decreased from 9 bar to 1.6 bar. So, how to get this we will see ok. So, now 
this is the cycle now let us fix the states state 1 1.6 bar x equal to 1 so now go to the tables 1.6 bar saturation x equal to 1 that is hg sg i have to take okay so 237.97.9295 so h1 equal to 237.97 kilo joule per kg and s1 equal to 0.9295 kilo joule per kg kelvin state one is very straight forward now state i told no state two can fix only after fixing state two yes so state two yes i know p equal to 9 bar 9 bar and uh, yes two yes isentropic process equal to yes one equal to 0.9295 Kilo joule per kg Kelvin. Now go to the saturation table for nine bar. I find that Sg is point nine zero five four. Correct. So Sg at nine bar equal to zero point nine zero five four is what? Basically is less than Yes two Yes. This is point nine two nine five. Correct. So that means state is state two is superheated. Okay. So how will you find this? Go to the superheated tables. So superheated table for nine bar. Yes. Yes two yes equal to zero point nine two nine five. So you can see that this is between these two. Correct. Interpolating between forty and fifty degrees. From The superheated table of nine bar. Okay, interpolating for yes equal to zero point nine two nine five, which occurs in the temperature range of. For forty degrees centigrade and fifty degrees centigrade, I get H two S equal to two seventy three point seven three kg per sorry kilo joule per kg kilo joule per kg. That's it. Now. Isentropic efficiency I have to apply. Isentropic efficiency of the compressor equal to what the isentropic work given to the compressor because work is now given, correct? So this actual work, obviously for work absorbing device like compressor, as is uh, was is shown in the previous problem, isentropic work will be less, lesser than the actual work. So for compressor. Which is adiabatic. Q dot minus W dot C equal to M dot into H two minus H one. Correct. Or I will say W C equal to minus W dot C by M dot equal to H two minus H one. So I can apply this for isentropic. It is H two yes minus H one divided by this is H two minus H one. Okay, H two yes I know. H one I know. So I can find H two as H two as point six seven is the isentropic efficiency into sorry H two S two seventy three point seven three minus H one two Thirty seven point nine seven divided by zero point nine six plus two thirty seven point nine seven. So you can get this. Okay. Now I want what is the actual work? 
actual specific work input to the compressor equal to what wc equal to h1 minus h2 sorry uh, h2 minus h1 i am talking about the input work input which is absolute value so that will be equal to 53.69 kilo joule per kg work input absolute value is this do you understand so that is what we have got substituting this h2 value here and h1 is no so that i know now what is or i can do it in power compressor power wc equal to m dot into wc which is equal to m dot equal to 5 kg per minute it's given 5 kg per minute divided by 60 into 53.69 kilo joule per kg equal to 4.474 kilo watts okay done so compressor part is over now what is qc for that i need the state 4 correct so state 4 uh, for adiabatic throttling device okay this is 3 to 4 correct q dot minus w x dot equal to m dot into h 4 minus h 3 but this adiabatic so this is zero throttling device no work is there so that is also zero so which implies h 4 equal to h 3 So now, what is H four? H four equal to H three equal to H F at nine bar. So go to the tables. So nine bar, this table saturation H F ninety nine point five six. So ninety nine point five six kilo joule per kg and P four equal to P one equal to 1.6 bar so that fix the that fixes the state 4 so straight away i get this value so now what is q dot c equal to m dot into here q dot c is so now state 4 is fixed here this is state 4 so this is as i told you irreversible process okay state for i have to find uh, state state way i got the enthalpy value that is enough for me so i do not need to fix this somewhere it will come here so now 4 to 1 is the process where it takes up heat from the cold space correct q dot c so what is q dot c q dot c will be m dot into h1 minus h4 okay which is equal to h1 Is through thirty seven point nine seven minus H four ninety nine point five six. Okay, so this is equal to one thirty eight point four one heat added, heat added to the cycle. Okay, from the cold space. So now, sorry, uh, this is into mass. I have to put. Into five by sixty, so which is equal to five by sixty into one thirty eight point four one, which is equal to eleven point five three four kilowatts. Do you understand? So that is the heat removed. Heat removed from the cold space, or heat input to the cycle. So now, what is COP? cop of the refrigerator will be equal to objective energy transfer okay this is the objective energy transfer for the cycle 
divided by W C dot, which is the energy transfer that costs. That is, we have to pay for this. No, we have to pay for this. So this is equal to eleven point five three four divided by four point seven four seven four. So we calculated this. No, this is four point four seven four. So that will be equal to three two point two point five seven eight. That is the COP. So please see this this problem. First state is fixed as saturated vapor. Second state is fixed using the first isentropic process and using the isentropic efficiency. Third state is given as a saturated liquid at nine bar. Fourth state we have to apply the first law for the throttling device. Where the throttling device doesn't doesn't have any heat loss or heat gain and doesn't do any work, so it is an isoenthalpic device. Isoenthalpic device. So H three equal to H four. So from that I can fix the state four. It will look like that. And uh, now what is Q C? Q C equal to Q one minus Q four. Is it added? And W is Q. Uh, H2 minus H1. That is a work input. So from that, Q dot C by W dot C will give you the coefficient of performance. Now finally, what is different tons of refrigeration? Tons of refrigeration. For this, that's a simple thing. Okay, one ton of refrigeration. Is equivalent to three point five two kilowatts of heat removed from the core space. Okay, so that means if from the core space. 3.52 kilowatts is removed. That will correspond to one ton of refrigeration. Now, from the cold phase, 11.534 kilowatts is removed. So, for Q dot C equal to 11.534 kilowatts. Okay. The refrigeration correct the the refrigeration capacity. In tons is equal to eleven point five three four divided by this three point five two, which is equal to three point two seven six tons of refrigeration. So this is the value. So in this problem, you can see that there are four components. Three basically the third wall is irreversible. Vapor compressor also acts irreversibly, so because isentropic efficiency is given, and uh, evaporator contents are constant pressure processes, and uh, the states are given for state one as a saturated vapor at 1.6 bar, and uh, for the condenser exit it is given as saturated liquid at uh, 9 bar. To fix the state two, we have first found the ideal state two as due to Isentropic compression. Then isentropic efficiency is used to find state two. State four is got from applying the first law to the throttling process. So once the states are fixed, then first law will lead to calculation of the W and QC. W was found as 4.474 kilowatts, and the Q dot C is found as 11.534. COP is Q dot C by W C for refrigerator. Using that, I got about 2.6. Similarly, it is about two three point two seven six tons of refrigeration. Keeping in the mind the definition that one ton of refrigeration is equal to three point five two kilowatts of heat removed from the cold space. So this is about this problem. So these are the three problems in the thermodynamic cycles. Thank you.